Hello gamers, this is Brain from GameBrain.media. We're going to play NASCAR Heat 5. Alright, so now we're going to move on to our third track. And I've already gone from the easiest mode to the second easiest mode. I'm going to bump it up to the fourth mode. Finished eighth. Now see, I could replay that. Oops. Oh. I thought I could replay him. Oh well. Um, second place in the point standing championship mode settings. That's what I want. So, like I said, in terms of difficulty, I started on casual, then I bumped it to normal, and I'm ready to go to hard already after three races. But I was racing on hard before. Um, when I jumped up to expert, I just spun out, but I attribute that to alcohol. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose hard. We go down and go with AI difficulty as auto. Damage DNF. Ooh, DNF is enabled. Race length is 7%. Tire and fuel wear. Flags. Yeah, I'm going to get flagged in this race. So if I go to black flags. Yeah, I'm just going to go with black flags, dude. I don't want to have to deal with this stupid... Oh, drive around in circles for a while, and, you know, maybe pit stop, and maybe refill gas, and maybe change tires, and then come out, and, oh, wait, but somebody else didn't pit, so they they won, and the race is over, because <laughs> it is so bizarre. I do not understand NASCAR, clearly. Not a fan. All right, so I'm going to go from here, and then exit, save and continue. Now, I'm going to validate that it did keep me at hard uh, difficulty presets, AI difficulty auto, and black flag only. Yep. All right. Quick qualify. We're all set, man. Save and continue. And start the event. Ta-da! All right. So I hope you get me that once you play a specific game for a period of time, you start understanding how that game behaves. And, and you know, I heard the RPM dropping with the easy settings enabled... So it just wasn't worth doing um, with those settings. After one race, I changed them. But, you know, if you're a complete noob and coming into this without any historical experience, or with just a gamepad instead of a wheel, um, wheel, I, I'm telling you, gives you a, a much... Well, I guess not so much... An, uh, yeah, it does. It gives you a great advantage. There's another example I, I posted a video about where the guy says, another guy in another video, he ran a gamepad for an hour, and he got his best time, and he could not beat it. He ran the steering wheel for 15 minutes and took two-tenths off his gamepad time. So one hour versus 15 minutes to get to your fastest lap with a steering wheel instead of a gamepad. But... He never got better than the two-tenths of a second faster than his gamepad time. So you can get fast with a gamepad. Just going to take you a little longer. However, if you're a gamepad nerd and you have been all your life since you were, you know, playing Super Mario Brothers or whatever, um, then, you know, it, it, it may be fine to have a cheap 20 or $30 gamepad and just play the game that way. Anyway, gaming is fun. Jump in. Buy something. Do something. All right, let's go to qualify, and we're going to be in a very, very different car. Well, same same truck, but very different settings where the RPM control, braking control, skid, and all that is, is now all on me. We've jumped from casual... Oh, oh. Casual to normal to hard. Then eventually we'll get to expert... Or we'll be done with the series and on to playing a Seto Corsa because, oh yeah, you're going to love it when we get to Seto Corsa. The world is your oyster, man. It is so moddable, and there are so many tracks and so many cars. You can paint your own vehicles without much of a problem. Clearly, I have a problem with the brakes here. Oh, I need to play much more cautiously. Holy cow, this is going to be tough, boy. This is going to be impossible, I think.
Oh yeah, this is going to be real hard. Wow, this is a tight little track, man. All right, yeah, here we are on the clock. Okay, I, got, I just got to stay off the brakes, man. I mean, I need to use my brakes ahead of the turn and roll through because they are locking up on me like crazy. But when I let them roll through, they have traction. And I have grip. Ah, oh, it's going to be tough. This is going to be tough. And if I don't qualify well here, I can always backtrack to easy mode, or casual mode, I should say. Normal mode. Ah, crap. Yeah, it's casual, normal, hard, expert. I'm on hard, and I'm going to die. All right. <clears throat> well... I tried hard, I couldn't hack it, so I've swapped back to normal, and uh, gonna go ahead and qualify the normal settings. Man, with uh, with the hard difficulty, without being used to it, I was skidding off the track everywhere. So the braking uh, brake assist is super good. I don't know how I did as well as I did with uh, hard in earlier videos or that I even worked myself up to hard previously but uh, yeah I mean it was doable I was just gonna set a lot slower lap time I don't get it uh, I don't get it oh oh see I was able to hit the brakes and then let off the brakes and, and and have traction or grip and get through the turn, but I just need a little more practice. I haven't been at this track in ages, so we're going to run this whole thing in probably normal mode because going up to hard was, was hard. <laughs> Imagine that. So if you're normal... You probably do this and have fun, but I, I was having fun with hard settings uh, in earlier videos. So anyway, if you know, you know. If you've been playing racing games for a long time, then here we go. We're gonna set our time now. We just tripped the timing trigger, timing transponder, whatever. Now, dude, I'm sure you've watched some people on YouTube. Maybe. Maybe not. If, if so, maybe I'll mention them eventually. But they have the whole freaking cockpit set up. With triple screens, wraparound view. Uh, you know, it's so wide that it can reach out their arms and touch their rear view mirrors practically. They've got a NASCAR specific uh, shifter. Um, yeah. It's, 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 it's off the hook. The things you can buy and the rigs you can build if you got a budget. But if you're just a guy with a $1.50 and a gamepad, you can play this game and have fun. $1.50 to buy the game, right? Because we covered that in the beginning at length. <laughs> I doubt anyone is going to really watch long videos of me racing and the yapping. But I enjoy them. Right. Hell, I even enjoy the replays. I love the replays even even more in most games. So my qualified time is 8th. Alright, that means I, I might get into the top 10 or might, might get into the top 3 after the race or through the race.
right, you're coming to the green. Be ready. Green flag, green flag. Left side, left side. Hang tight there, driver. Be a good wheel here. Far left. Clear left. All right, you're clear. Clear all around. So, clearly, I'm not going to get hung up on ego or pride that uh, I'm having to run normal difficulty right now. I'm just playing the game and I'm having fun because I'm near the front and I have, I have, a, I have a battle on my hands, right? Oh, if you do manually adjust uh, your AI, you can get the same kind of battle and fun Oh, getting that guy in the front is going to be tough. With number two here cock blocking me. Really Still irritating. But all I got to do is be better, right? Man, that leader's running away, dude. Wow, the other guys came up on me hard, so I overbraked. I'm being very cautious here. Being kind of paranoid. <laughs> God, the visibility in the cockpit sucks. I wish I could raise my seating position a little bit, expand my point of view a little bit, be able to see a side mirror on the left, like on my peripheral vision in my real vehicle, or on my right. And no, I'm not a frog, but I have wide peripheral vision. Oh man, two out of five laps? Are you kidding me? Yeah, hopefully this guy in front of me jacks it up. Because I got five more laps to go. I like the longer race length. I like not having freaking yellow flags and fuel limitations and stuff like that. Man, leader's getting away. Bad guys keep coming up on my butt. So I guess that's adaptive AI. They, they, it's like that rubber band effect we've talked about in the past in other videos. Everybody's talked about it historically. Uh, the AI slingshot. If you get too far ahead of them, they just magically gain a ton of speed and are on your bumper. Because they can even defy the laws of physics in order to do that. And they'd have to have a lap time that beats the regular track lap time in order to get from way behind you in the rearview mirror to right on your bumper. Now, I do recognize that I suck through a lot of these turns. I'm not familiar with them. Once you memorize tracks, everything changes. Like Laguna Seca, I'm going to do a special edition on that with... Uh, multiple games. I'm going to run Race 07 there. I'm going to run uh, a set of courses there. Clearly I can't run this game there because it's not in the series. Uh, I might try to run some different kinds of cars in a set of Corsa on Laguna Seca. In fact, that I'm certain I will do that. Same thing with uh, 
Same thing with Racial 7. No, he's coming on me, man. Oh, I am so far behind the leader. But, hey, if I can pull off a second place, I'd be happy. Five laps is kind of long and boring to me. I, I wanted this thing to be over with already. <laughs> Three or four laps would be... Make me a happy camper. Oh, no! No! Oh, visibility is just atrocious. I'm going to go... I'm going to go for Old Faithful. Oh, he hit me! You dirty dog! Clear all around. Car left. All clear. Now, do I have a rear view? Yeah, that's the look behind. Oh crap! Forgot that it jacks up my camera. This game's pretty wonky controls, man. I I really hate console games made for PCs or converted to PC games, but what are you going to do? It's the way of the world nowadays. A lot of money to be made on them Xbox kids. Well, the Xbox parents of kids. It is the final lap. I don't have a rearview mirror, so I hope I jacked him up by breaking hard enough that he had to steer to avoid me. I can't tell how far away they are from me on that mini-map. But hey, a second place finish will be pretty good. In the overall point standings, maybe I'll do well. I had a first, a eighth, and a second, maybe, if I pull this off. I mean, I could go back to casual and just sweep the season, but... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! Right side, no! No! Oh, he's right there! He was right there behind me, man. Look at that. <laughs> All right. You know what? That one, let's watch the replay. Let's go to replay length, go with long replay. <sighs> I'm starting in the eighth position. This is the first lap. Highlights from lap one. My front tire's locked. What the heck? My brakes are broken. <laughs> hey, why do I have different colored uh, rims front and rear? One's red, one's black. That yellow stripe is the Goodyear logo. But my rears are black. Other trucks? Let's pay attention to their rim color. Oh, what am I doing out there in the grass, man? Okay, he's got red and red, red and red. Huh, that's weird. My truck's got mismatched uh, tires, rims. All right, so this is not lap four. Uh, this their, their replay system is broken. You know, I wonder if that's a problem with... Uh, what do you call it? The 2023 mod that I installed? That they're like little weird anomalies there. Alright, second. Finish the event. Accept. And we're going to see some season standings. I hope we should. We might. No, we didn't. Maybe, did I breeze right past them? Alright man, next up is Road America. And, oh man, view the season standings. There you go, that's what I wanted to see. All right, so I am in second place behind that Tyler Ankrum guy. He's got two wins, I got one win. Oh, wow, but we got a, f what, uh, 11 point spread. Oh man, what are the points per race? I don't know. 
All right. Well, I've got to go back, and then uh, we're heading for Road America.